Welcome back to another review of Dororo. Wait, not another. This is actually our first one. Yeah, two. this is the first uh, review. For the first episode, we did uh, first impressions, little new thing that right. we've been doing here and there. Uh, that one was all me, actually. So this is our first time for both of us talking about Dororo for episode two. Anyway, I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we're anime viewers only. Uh, no source material. Not even the good old 1969 anime material. And we're at the episode and give our scores at the end. You ready to talk about this? Let's do it. So yeah, we're in a world where it's not uncommon for travelers to disappear while traveling. <laughs> <laughs> and we get to see the old guitarist again. And he comes across some uh, big-headed dude some... ringing a bell. I don't want to judge, but he is ugly. The big headed guy. Yeah, yes. Okay. I wrote him down as creepy, dude. Uh, <laughs> he is creepy, and his head, when I look at it, makes me uncomfortable. So. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable, too. <laughs> it made Dororo Ro uncomfortable. Right. We'll really get to that. Uh, and then we cut into the opening. So didn't, I didn't talk about it in the first impressions. So we didn't get a chance to talk about it, really. Uh, what about here? I actually really like the opening. Uh, yeah, same here. It's yeah, <laughs> it's <a> very elaborate. <laughs> all right, because <Me> like, <laughs> all right, I was just trying to get that in there because we tried talking about it on our podcast. You couldn't remember it, so I yeah. What well, as soon as I like heard it start, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember. But yeah, I do like it. Yeah, solid. Okay, so. A lot of this beginning part is Dororo tagging along with our uh, silent protagonist here. Uh, he obviously is just trying to figure out how it works. It's like you can't hear, you can't see, uh, right. you, you can't, apparently you've got blade arms, how does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't believe, he's like a little kid. It's like if you see something like that as a little kid, you'd be like curious too. Like what right. the hell is it? He just killed this monster. He's got... Why is it he listening? He's going to eat this fish raw? <laughs> like, he, also, can he see? He's fishing like a madman, right? <laughs> also, Dororo kept his face, which is kind of weird. Yeah, he's been around. <laughs> he's like holding the face. He's like, oh yeah, this fell off of you and you grew a new one. I'm like, Does this happen so... often? <laughs> <laughs> what an adorable child, but Jesus. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then it's like, yeah, basically has no part. But I think do it does help the, uh, a lot that, you know, Dororo just forcibly tagged along. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> just like curiosity. And then we get the uh, voiceover thing, like the narration that kind of explains what's happening here. It's like, well, you can't really see or talk or hear, but he can see souls. He has superhuman strength and senses. Um Dororo is the second person to stay close to him. The first being uh, Jukai, the doctor. Yeah. Which is shown just by showing him. You know, they don't really talk about it. Um, and his name is Hiyakumaru. Yes. So we get his he name that it. way. Where he got the name, who <clears throat> named him, not quite sure yet. Uh, we still don't even know. Because uh, you know, it's probably maybe Ju uh, <laughs> Jukai maybe gave it to him or something. At first, I thought the old guitarist guy was the one that, you know, raised him up. But apparently, he just let him keep floating away in the boat. Right. We cool later. Like, What's that over there? Hmm. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Have a nice trip. <laughs> Have a nice trip. He's like, there's something odd about that one. So it's like, who picked him up? Or did he somehow survive to get older as a baby and just learn? It's like, he is partly demon, I guess. So it's like, Right. I wonder if he... Like, does he need food? I mean, we saw him eat food, but does he need it? I would. You think he did that because he was like testing out his new face, or true? I Maybe I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he's he's unique. Well, <laughs> to say the least, he's I, unique. Most <laughs> these characters are unique. I would, right? Even Dororo here, he's like you know, tell you You said I, Dororo cares a lot about making money. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> it's clearly his thing when he was scamming in the first episode, trying to make money, and now he's 
He's like, you know, we'll just be monster hunters for money. All right. Uh, He's got the plans. Yeah, they go into town. They're like, oh, we hear you need a monster slam. Well, this guy right here, he can do it. And they're like... Are you, are you sure? Oh, yeah, he can do it. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that he's blind and deaf and stupid, but guess what? He can kill. But look at this. Blade oh, arms. Uh, and they go see Bandai, the chief, who is supposedly hurt. But of course, um, she... Uh, something's <laughs> off. Evil. Something's <laughs> off. You can just straight up tell she's evil. And of course, we know... Uh, Hiyakumaru yeah. can see the souls has, of like, things, the white flames or the red souls. Dororo does not know that at this point. So when he pulls out the blade arms, <clears throat> going for Bandai, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. This ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it, chill. Chief. <laughs> please, it's please. Like, chill. It's like, just, just, trust, just trust him, Dororo. Um... Yeah, and he has no way of really uh, finding out what's going on at all. Right. Um, I guess I did kind of skip the the bell guy kind of showed up while he they just, were sleeping he just as made well. An appearance and he's and, like, <laughs> and Dororo just shit his pants. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> like, that's the monster, and it's like, oh, this guy's a good guy. And it's like I can only tell because Hiyakumaru doesn't fucking care that this thing's in there, right? right? <laughs> he he reads your soul, all right? He passes judgment. If you're bad, you get a sword. If not, you get to live. The only weakness is he can't really tell if the human is bad or not. It's like, yeah, because I don't think a human would give off. They might, uh, ev- I don't know. I, I Unless there is like a bad human soul specifically, I don't think he could tell if he's being tricked or not or well, it's not right. like he can interact with him. He just walks by him. But <laughs> except for this little fucking white flame that keeps tail. Yeah, he's him. like, "What is this?" He's probably like, "This thing doesn't leave me alone." It's like, what is going on here? But uh, yeah. And then when they get thrown in a little prison, more like a storage room <clears> that <throat> they locked, that's where the old man is, and he can explain to. Dororo, what's going on? We see flames. We see, we don't really see. Uh, like, the lights go out. He's like, Dororo's like, it's <laughs> dark. He's like, we, we, we don't care. We can't see anyway. It, it doesn't matter. We're blind. <laughs> it's, it's like, you're right. <laughs> it's like, uh, Dororo's like, I can't see. He's like, just, just hold on. I can see. Technically. Uh, kind of. I can kind of see. Yeah, and this is where he says the murky color of blood is the worst color. So I'm guessing there are different colors there's probably like, of stages. Yeah, there's probably like ranges. Like, well, obviously there's ranges. Like bright red, like super bright dark red, red. Ye- yellow, <laughs> orange. It's like a skin. It's getting, the hotter you get, the more evil you are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but when they come out, yeah, guess what? Bandai is a demon. <laughs> she's not a ghoul she's a demon so now that we got little specifications of levels since the other creatures we saw in the first episode were ghouls except for maybe the big monster at the end was a demon but right the the thing that ate the old woman randomly in the beginning was definitely a ghoul yeah because that's what he called it so maybe that's also your range of color if you're a demon you're going to be a lot more red than a a ghoul. Right. I mean, we'll find out. Uh, Maybe. Well, I'm just like making speculations. Gotta have fun <laughs> with this stuff. <laughs> the the people were kind of helping her, basically to save themselves. They're like, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll give were... her just random travelers. They were held hostage in a way, so it's hard to blame them. I mean, it's not. It's still an awful thing to do but it's like it's either him or it's me so i'm always gonna choose him <laughs> right uh, every time people are gonna look out for themselves so what can you do when a giant evil demon wants to fucking eat you <laughs> it's, it's giant all right it was mad it had all these like little tentacle things and it's like your name hyakumaru doesn't feel pain now i guess when he gets stabbed and it's like doesn't matter he cuts her in the eyeballs uh, <laughs> 
Hey, he's experienced, all right? The bell guy showed up to distract her. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Just, <laughs> the taunt. Uh, the stupid ghost thing won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, it failed to take Hiamak Maru. So right. I'm guessing it refers to like the big bad Lucifer. Yeah, I could see that. The the big the big demon, the boss demon. Yeah, and somehow because they tried taking him at birth, maybe, but, and I'm guessing they failed to fully take him. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't be this weird fleshling thing he is. Yeah, because it's definitely. I'm not sure why he wasn't fully taken, but it's definitely leading to where because he's, you know, he's beating these demons, and then he gets like a piece of him back. It seems. Yeah, I, I I've read a little bit like I've seen it's... that before. I think they mentioned <clears throat> something else within this episode, like super briefly and like a not a direct kind of way, but like a you have to imply it kind of way. All right. Well, and... we saw it the first episode, and then. Also, like near the end of this episode, it kind of like cliffhanged us with like him getting something back. Yeah, like getting some shock of some sort. And yeah, he probably got his, you know, some of his face <coughs> back, uh, at least from the first one. Because yeah, they kill it. Uh, Bell guy had disappeared because he finally gets to rest because it was the first traveler that had been sacrificed. So it was kind of like his spirit in a way. And he had a shit ton of money. Dororo <laughs> should be happy. Got him. Easy, Except see? for the fact that Dororo thought the demon kind of looked like his mother. Uh, so That's pretty sad. <laughs> it's, it's like, sorry, Dororo. Your mother's dead. We don't care. Okay, this guy doesn't even have Mosa's body. All right, this guy. This guy's father literally sold him <laughs> to demons. All right, you think your childhood shit? <laughs> I was born. I, a... I, apparently, Hiakumaru knows how to write because Dororo can't even read. So that's that's kind of where I'm like, how did he get his name? Because he he's I'm, aware I, of it. It has name. to be Jukai. It but Jukai how did probably... like he tell him his name? You know, uh, maybe he has feeling or something, and he was able. to Teach him kind of like a braille or something. I don't know. I feel, or maybe. or just over. Maybe he doesn't know it means Hiakamaro. It's just a symbol he knows over and over. Or something like that. And it's like, until we see more of what Jukai has done with him. All right. I'm sure we'll slowly more or learn more of like what happened when baby skinless, ugly thing to now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, and this is where towards the end where the old man, uh, the guitarist, was like, "Oh, now I remember this guy. I saw him on the boat, and I, and I left him." I, my whole first impression is just wrong now. <laughs> I, I was like, presumably he takes him in. Oh, presumably I'm wrong. So he did not teach him his predator heat vision. All right. Uh, but yeah, and. Whatever Hiakamaru <clears throat> picked up here. Uh, don't know which part. Maybe like a nervous system? Because he kind of... Maybe. Because he, he didn't really... Because he got his face... He didn't really make an emotion when he got his face. But this one, he kind of screamed. And we know he doesn't feel pain, so... Maybe he did get, like, nerves. Maybe he can actually feel now. Because it kind of uh... like an x-ray of his body, too. I mean, it'll tell us, but... Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> well, now we're getting something back. It is interesting, to say the yeah. least. Jump so he's stores. just got to... Sure. Or, or you want to say something first? I was going to say, mention how he's just got to, you know, kill these demons one by one. Get his, get his, get it back. He's like, my father gave this to you. I want it back. All right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, let's jump into scores now. I think I'll give it an eight. Actually, I really, for, uh, for some reason, it's just really pulling <clears> me in. It's very interesting. The you, the characters are unique. I think without a doubt. Uh, I really how like how they fully go in with Dororo just being that curious kind of child type who doesn't fully understand everything. Who's just like, you know, whoa, 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 chill, don't be going killing stuff here now. <laughs> she looks fine to me. And it's like. 
Uh, and this is a lot of the other stuff that's just intriguing, especially with now I'm more curious about this old man who apparently didn't take in Hiyakamaru right. and Jukai. Uh, Jukai is still there. I want to know. He just a given prosthetics of dead people still. We see a couple <laughs> clips of that for some reason. I, he's insane. <laughs> but Weirdest fetish ever, but all right. <laughs> this, but I do like the characters a lot. Right. I agree with they. I do like, they kind of are using, you know, Dororo as a mouthpiece yeah, in a way. Yeah, storyteller. Because <laughs> it would be not as interesting if we just followed, you know. It'd be like Zelda. We just followed him and he just said nothing the whole time. I feel like I feel like within the next couple demons, he's going to get the ability to speak just so it's uh, not always Dororo. It's going to be so weird when he I, does actually, get wonder. the ability to talk because he won't know language, right? So that, that is true. Hmm. We'll see. I it's it is interesting though. I wonder what like because ha- we obviously know what's happening, like how he's get, he's pretty much getting himself back. But I wonder what like the final. The, you think he has to fight his dad? Like you think I, his dad will be like possessed by a demon and they'll just go at it? That's what that's what I'm thinking. Because like I feel like he does <clears throat> because. The demons are sem- are like connected to his father in a way because they like, granted right. him power and stuff. I feel like he has to go through them, him, to get to the final it. Right, because it, because like this demon he killed, it cut back to that same shrine or temple that his father was at, and we saw the sac or the statue, you know, break apart. And his dad was also in the episode itself. Like it cut to him, so there's still some importance there. Like they're still keeping him like relevant. So. I wonder if it is like he has to I get through his dad or get back to his dad in a way. Yeah, and it's just kind of interesting where his dad's at at this point because like, kind of like I was talking in the first impression where like, he doesn't, yeah, he did something bad but he's not like the true villain type. Like, until we see how he's like ruling and stuff, it might just be he just has to die because we need our main character to get everything back. And it's like, right. But other than that, it's and like, it, it will does it justify seem, him being killed or not? It does seem there's at least somewhat him being peaceful, his dad at least, because, I mean, the advisor came out to him did mentioning like, oh, people are building an army or whatever, but his dad addressed the neighboring clan as like allies. So there is a way, it seems like he's not like some, you know, evil tyrant that just goes around murdering to... Just because he got his power, so I don't know. It 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 is interesting. I'm wondering. They're keeping him there for a reason. I just want to know why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm keeping my out my eye on this anime. It's, I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah, same here. But uh, that does it. Yeah. Uh, spiel time. As always, if you don't want that creepy bell guy showing up in your door tonight. Be sure to oh hit that like, God. subscribe, notification bell. <laughs> you don't mind every time. How, how would you feel if you sleeping, wake up, and you just see him in your door? Just I'd be the, like, jump this out is where it ends. <laughs> Take me. No, I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, if I saw, first of all, I don't even know if his head will fit through my door. <laughs> but <laughs> if I saw that, I'd be like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm dead. There ain't nowhere I can go. <laughs> It would be the most terrifying sight imaginable. You hear Dan waking uh, up like, what the fuck uh, is Dean? And look up and this is a some, giant head there. It's giving me some shivers. I'm going to have nightmares now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let us know what you thought. So we did, did it like anything like that. And until next time, peace out. See ya.